So there are a bunch of films that have been highly recommended but I haven't seen yet. So today I'm watching the 2000 film Best in Show. I believe Eugene Levy is in this, which I'm very excited to see. I've loved him in Schitt's Creek. I know he was in a bunch of other movies as well. Usually he's like a comedic role. So that's kind of what I'm anticipating for this. I don't know the director, or any other cast members or anything. So I'm very excited to finally watch this. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. She's also been very, very angry with us ever since she saw us having sex. Pardon? We got a book, uh, Kama Sutra. Oh my. I got myself in a position that wasn't uh, very easy for me emotionally. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. They're going to therapy for their dog. Because their dog saw them having sex. Oh my god. Too funny. Thank you, right on around. And Catherine O'Hara. Oh, yes. I knew they had worked it together before Shit's Creek, but I didn't know on what. She does all she does all the work with Winky. Yay! Well, the first time we their mailbox. Somebody else. She was very popular back then. She had dozens of boyfriends. Hundreds. <laughs> Yeah, hundreds. I did not know that. <laughs> and this, like, documentary style. Uh, because, you know, I was uh, considered, uh, you know, by some uh, <laughs> to be quite the Casanova myself back at... Uh, oh, my God, yes. I love it. Um, I, I was born uh, with two uh, left feet. Oh, my God, she's got two left shoes. Oh, I love the literal jokes. Uh, because, you know, I would walk in little loops, uh, kept going in circles. <laughs> Is that the only reason? I learned how to walk a straight line. And uh, dance. And, and dance. dance. Buying shoes must be a nightmare. And, of course, nobody lives here anymore, but it's our, it's our place. It almost feels like a Wes Anderson movie with the titles coming up and, you know, meeting the characters this way. He's just such a noble, loyal, perfect dog. I mean, he, you can't find a better dog on the whole planet Earth. He's not biased at all. If one day they land on some other planet. <laughs> what? You, you couldn't find a better dog. And Hubert. He's got to compete against alien dogs. Oh, he's so cute. Hubert. He'd be the one to find them. I'm very curious. I know Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy are Canadian. If this was actually filmed in Canada, or they said Florida a few places. So yeah, where was it filmed? He, he, he shows a good dog. <laughs> I've never seen anyone as light on his feet as light as in the loafers. <laughs> oh members of the same body, you might say. And it was it was a wonderful sight. I knew a guy who had two members on the same Will body. You Hello. You know, wild man on campus. Club scene. Oh my Club God! Scene you know, here. on a Friday night, I'd have three Saturday nights, and then I'd go home. And <laughs> Leslie and I have been together five years. We have an amazing... Oh, Jennifer Coolidge. Yes. I mean, he still pushes all my buttons. Hello. And you know what? I'm the one having to push him away. <laughs> yeah, we both... Is that the actor who played Blue in Old School? Love soup. And Good to have that in common. Talk forever. And still find things to not talk about. I love it. Some dogs that have worked so hard to get here. Hamilton! Hamilton! Yeah, I love all these like little behind the scenes features on all the people who will be competing and... I remember what I was drinking when I met you. It was a grande espresso. That's right, and I thought that was really sexy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so much easier. Because Damn. especially you don't have to deal with people as much. You can just, just talk to the person. On They're impressed with the modern invention of catalogs. Like oh my. Uh, I'm very excited for all the dogs that are going to be in this so far. You know, smell the ground and all that, and, uh... Would you smell? Would you smell? Oh, God, he's getting right in there. <laughs> would you do? Would you do? Would you do? Would you do? And he's saying, I'm ready. That's when he, you know he's ready for a show. Look at those jowls. Oh, my God. I would have yeah, loved yeah, to work no, on this no, movie no. and just play with would the dogs all day. Go. We'll get going, and it'll be showtime for you, right? And look at that. The judge is going to look at him and say, Look 
those wrinkles. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. And I'm the best dog in the whole ring. <laughs> oh. oh, jealous. How many years uh, ago ha, did, ha, did ha, he poke me? Ha, ha, How many years you, ago was you, that? You, you, oh, my. She literally is like me, dude. A terrier. Yes, he does good love. His original soundtrack as well. Loves a terrier. Winky doesn't know how lucky he is. He gets to know a song. Oh my gosh. And um, I, uh, this, this kennel um, that I opened up was really just a kennel until. I and Jane Lynch, man, this cast is stacked. I'm so excited. Family, you know, until my mom committed suicide in 81. Mm. Yeah. Hey, here, let me help. Oh my God, that was so dark. Oh my God. Here, have a, good have a great one. time. Good Bring luck. home the Bye. blue ribbon. Don't Bring water the home. plants, they're plastic. <laughs> Let's get the dirt off it. That's it. But in a box for a year. Oh, these have to. I've never been to a dog show. I think it'd be so fun. I've seen a few on TV, but I've never been. I have you. You've already packed six kimonos. <laughs> All right, so here's seven. We're in Philadelphia for 48 hours. He's a mean man. She's like, I don't care about the bee. I just want to bark at people. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's been so long. <laughs> Jerry, Hello, Max. Oh, I, watch out for that one. I definitely recognize this actor. I don't remember his name, but I know I've seen him and stuff. Oh, my. Hey, oh, uh, God bless him. Mm, here, we, go to daddy. We had it. What? <laughs> Faye, thank you so much for letting me. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. Going for it. <laughs> oh, <look at> <laughs> this is off to a great start. He's like, I was worried before, this and now I'm terrified. Ah, this guy as well. Apparently, they weren't aware that there was a toilet in the room, so we had a lot of cleaning to do. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Uh, how many uh, uh, people have you uh, have you uh, talked down? I mean, is there a? Well, they always jump. Oh God. Everything pops out. It's like a pinata. The intestines, like they're spring loaded, pop out. Perfect dinner table conversation. Oh my God. His head was stuck in a gargoyle. It seems like last week, I'll tell you that. You wouldn't know this, but she was famous for putting her legs behind her head. She could get both legs behind her head. Oh, my. Why are you... What? Wow. This He's got a parachute not a around today, his Please, please, this is what I do. Please, honey, this is what I do. He's going to try and parachute the dog. Oh, oh this guy's a terrible hostage negotiator. Wait, I don't even challenge him. He doesn't like it. He's going to stab you with forks until you bleed. How about that? Oh, my God. Just so much yelling. Now, I understand that you, uh, you went to the circus. I did. This could not get creepier. Him wearing dog-themed pajamas and playing with a ventriloquist doll alone in his RV on the side of the road. H -O -O F. Okay, non-smoking. Uh, two nights, we have you down for queen. What? Uh, smoking and non-smoking. <laughs> queen room. See, it's butch. Um, when the ice sculpture melts all the way down, the party's over. And that's going to take, like, this is what? How is that how they tell the time? It's literally, you know, we don't want you out in the cold, so this will give you some sort of a place to stay while you're here. He's going to rent them the storage closet that's, like, full of the cleaning chemicals. Oh, my gosh. In the lobby, in the lobby. it's a lobby bathroom. It's well stocked with paper towels and toilet tissue and soap. Be able to freshen up in there. A winky's little hat also. Just utility closet. As a matter of fact, yeah. Tell I don't think we'll have a problem. That won't... It won't be confusing. No, no one else is in there. We... Malcolm, 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 Malcolm. Oh, yeah. You know, I banged <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, cookie. A small fly, but I've been in many situations, even on a big river, where I'm using a size 18. They're like, why are you talking to us? We don't want to talk to you. Sometimes I go with a, a parachute animals, and maybe I have a little. <laughs> so hmm? Is this L.L. Bean? This Can I check? I don't know. Oh, Hamilton. What? Yeah, they're like, we love J. Crew and L.L. Bean. I'm guessing that's an American company. Baby boomer gag. Oh, what a dark burgundy jacket. <laughs> Good heavens. Mr. Hip. <laughs> Mr. Hip. Oh my god. I'm really enjoying it. It's super ridiculous and I love that they're just playing up to people who are obsessed with their dogs and 
So fun. And I love the documentary style, like this mockumentary. There's a glow tonight. 3,000 dogs competing for best in show. Hey, that's the name of the movie. <laughs> I love it. A giant spider. <laughs> you name it. Ah, oh, this guy, Fred, uh, Fred Willard. As excited as really? I am. You wrote a book, didn't you? I no. did, I did. Uh, follow the lead. Uh, <laughs> places once it was all going well till they spilled hot candle wax on my private parts. <laughs> oh my god, what? This is so bizarre. I wonder what people who, like, are involved in dog showing and go to dog shows think of this movie, if they think it's ridiculous or they think it's, like, hilarious because it's so accurate. It's in the crate! Where is it? It's in the crate! I didn't have it out to begin with. Yeah, it's definitely a unique story to cover dog shows, but it still feels like a very relatable story. He's crawling fully in the cage. Oh my god. God have it! If she doesn't get a door, she's gonna flip out! These like over like intense, you know, like instead of show parents and dogs. Progress towards the best in show title. I'm curious what inspired this story, if they just thought it'd be funny to do like a dog show story or if they actually had experience in it. Uh, testicular area oh. to make sure, <laughs> uh, to make sure that, uh, that everything is intact. Hate to go out on it definitely is. <laughs> idea off the top of my head. Why did he put the blood on, put on one of those Sherlock Holmes hats and put a little pipe in his mouth? <laughs> a costume. <laughs> I would love that. I love a dog in a sweater, fun costume. I'm all for it. It looks like smoke's coming out of the pipe. I think that would be a little dangerous. <laughs> I'd get a kick out of it. This guy's me. If I had a dog, if I had to judge a dog show, that guy'd be me for sure. Receiver, which would be your tight end? Who can go the farthest the fastest? Well, I, I don't know any dogs that play football. <laughs> Clearly, he hasn't seen Air Bud. I would have loved to have been an extra in this or be involved in any way. It would be so fun. Oh. Let's try to find this busy bee. Oh my gosh, for the dog. Don't tell right downstairs. Why don't we go a down? A pest door down the stairs? Yes. What are you, a wizard, a genius? <laughs> you are. Thanks for your help, you stupid hotel manager. Oh my God. He's like, yeah, I could just go buy a new one. Oh my gosh. She's insane. She's lost her mind for sure. So tightly wound over this dog show. Sophia Loren, Persian oh. eye. Yeah. And it looked very dramatic mm -hmm. and looked. Uh, it's a very distinct look. Yep. Christy Cummings, but you probably know that. <laughs> well, I do, I do and I don't. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. He doesn't seem concerned about any of the like politics about it. He just loves his dog. Dr. Carl Shirley, you have a phone call. He's like, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. We're here to do our own thing. You don't, uh, shih -tzu. You don't play around with that name, do you? It doesn't come no. trippingly off the tongue. Stewardess, can I take a shih tzu on my... <laughs> Ma'am, can I have the Italian Greyhound over here, please? I love Italian Greyhounds, too. They always need sweaters and, like, 90 blankets, but I still love them. Some squeaks, you know? And I think it's striped. I think the dog will respond. Does he not know what a bee looks like? Reminiscent of a bumblebee, I think. This is like. Also, dogs are colorblind. Dogs responding to. But you can look in the box here. We have more. Right? Like this. This lady's just not doing well. This is like her nightmare. It's like a bee. That's it's like a bee. Fish. It's a fish striped like a bee. Could he be sweeter or more loving? And the group is all about attitude. And look at this. Attitude? He looks like a teddy bear. He's so sweet. His little tongue. <laughs> How do they make in miniature? I mean, is there some way, some process they they fizz <laughs> the dog? This guy's like, please stop talking. Let your imagination run wild. I think you get the Mayflower Kennel Club behind it, you make a few bucks, and that's what it's all about. He wants to make like a spicy dog calendar. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. All right, Judge Ruth Collier is looking very closely. If Winky doesn't make it, I don't know what they're gonna do. Oh, I'm sorry. Get down. Come on. Uh oh, that's not a good idea. Come on, Beatrice. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's not good. That's, that's it. Yes, yes, yes. The dog has been excused. That's... She is gone. Oh, this pup. To see that happen. 
beautiful. This is gonna be an argument. I can already feel it. Going out. I'm gonna be right here until I until I get another message from myself. <laughs> She's so ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> Salute, sir. Like we did it. We're the best. On to the next round. Yeah, congratulations. Sherry Ann. What is Sherry Ann wearing? <laughs> Oh my, going for the smooch. I'm guessing they didn't realize they were being filmed. Uh-oh. Oh my, oh my. I know, so you have to go sit down I'm now gonna because go Winky and I have to get ready I'm for the show. Okay, okay knock darling, dead, honey. Call. And I love how they're covering like all the different groups. Like we've got the underdogs, we've got like the very wealthy, you know, stage parents with the Weimarammer and... But yeah, it's not just covering the same type of people. Oh no! Oh my God! And you keep it on your left arm. You keep the dog to the and, left. And, and Cherry. Uh, why, why, uh, Cherry. Why? 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 You're gonna show Winky. He's like, I wasn't prepared for this. I was gonna sit in the crowd and wait for them to do your thing. Oh no! Jerry's got to step up now. And um, he believes this dog has a has a tremendous future. And here's the Siberian. Husband. Oh my favorite, my personal favorite, my heart. Oh, so beautiful. Drama queens to the extreme, but so pretty. Uh, we're getting Sorry. word that it's uh, the dog is being handled by. And his two left feet. Uh, What's wrong with his feet? I don't think I ever find myself saying this on this, but you, I think. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. This may be a little bit off the path. How much weight do you think I could bench press? <laughs> Everett Bainbridge, if I'm not wrong. Yes, Everett is a, a very, very experienced child. Quite the name. Oh my gosh. I'm curious if the dogs that weren't part of the show, or even the dogs that are part of the show, are they actually like trained show dogs, or are they just. I think they'd have to be in some capacity. They seem very well behaved. The table is in. I don't want to stick your neck out there. I'd be uh, tempted Bring to lay out the a few Lord's dollars. Curry. I've seen dog shows where they have to do like obstacle courses and stuff. This seems to be more focused on the aesthetics of the dog, or maybe they had those components that just didn't include it, but. I don't think I ever could get used to being probed and prodded. I, I told my proctologist once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh my God. He's recycling the same jokes. A proctologist? Oh my god. A Chinese dog, a German dog, do they all bark the same? They all sound the same when they, you know, woof, visit or as different language. The script is nuts. And it doesn't matter but I like was thinking of thinking that dogs speak different languages. With Dr. Milbank cow. and uh, Graham Chisholm. Wow, look at the size of that. I've taken sponge can, baths uh, in smaller... <laughs> he looks terrified. The Norwich Winky! Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, the underdog. Yes. She's heartbroken. Oh, the bloodhound. Oh, I'm glad they won. Oh, he's so proud. This little dog's like, put me down, please, I'm only little. Aww. you do about your terriers and 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 yeah. you're do something uh with them because you're you're celebrities now oh my god the captain and cookie they made a cd about their terrier songs they drew it up terrier style <laughs> yes i love these original songs Boom. cookie yeah cookie googleman oh no not again Oh. <laughs> it's me. You look fantastic. Me too. <clears throat> You've grown. Oh, God, stop. That is the one and only time I've ever done it on a roll. <laughs> He's like hitting his head. <laughs> mm. yeah. Now we got to open up this, this, these offices and publish this magazine here. Mm -hmm. They publish a magazine? Oh, my God. I was on an L Al flight to Haifa faster than a walnut could roll off a hen house roof. These metaphors. Ventriloquism, which is uh, ancient art, and uh, it requires. Oh, <laughs> these like Egyptian hieroglyphs of ventriloquists. Coming from, which is the whole point, I guess. 
Let's all go honky tonk. Down in He wasn't down for long, this guy. Just passion is for uh, ventriloquist now. He's a great cowboy. Yeah, look at that face. So focused. Hold your horses. Definitely should have gotten horses. Yeah, little bitty horses. That'd be real smart. Just little ones. We've always wanted to do. Oh my god, a photo shoot with this like fake burning building. And he loves our dog. So mm -hmm. we we had this idea. It's like, well, we loved old movies so much and <laughs> I love the idea of incorporating dogs into old movie shoots. That's amazing. Oh, yes. God with the wind. Yes. Oh my god. I feel like they could have worked in some dog puns into the names. Macmillan and wife. <laughs> Alms for the poor. <laughs> so, how have things been going? They're back in therapy. Oh, they're wearing so many bright colors now. Hmm. Such a winner. And he doesn't mind us having sex. Oh, no, he likes it. He likes to watch. It's worse. Oh, my. Oh, oh, Kipper. Oh, the pug. So that was my first time watching the 2000 film Best in Show. I really enjoyed it. It was super funny. And it just felt like it's a show you can watch over and over and pick up on jokes that you missed when you watched it the first time. The cast was absolutely stacked. Every scene I was like, oh, you're in this. Oh, you're in this. Like Eugene Levy, Catherine O'Hara, Fred Willard, Jennifer Coolidge, Jane Lynch. Like it just went on and on. And I'm sure there's people in there that I recognize, but I don't remember their name and just such a star-studded cast and everybody was so funny even if they were only in you know a few scenes like even the hotel manager had some good lines and it was just such a funny movie and I'm very curious for people who are active in you know the dog show world and who you know show their dogs and this is something they would be familiar with how accurate it is or if it's just you know completely embellished for the movies it felt accurate but I haven't been to a dog show I definitely want to go to one as I love dogs and I think it would be so interesting to watch I've seen a few like clips on tv but I've never actually been there and it was just such a unique approach for a story I don't think I've seen another movie that tells you know the story of dog shows especially in like the comedic you know mockumentary sense as well and even though it was a very unique story as we you know we've got these people who are very you know obsessed with their dogs and trying to win these ribbons and be best in show like the title of the movie it still felt relatable you still felt like okay I would know somebody like this as the couple you know with their lost little bee toy and they're very focused on that and very you know persistent on finding this and just so tense and so much pressure on this dog to win and then you know for comedic effect obviously we see that they've got on a whole new dog their wardrobes have changed entirely they've become you know they're like we're new people now it was the dog's fault the dog was so negative it's not us and I love that we got to see a different group of people and all these different people who would be going to the shows you know we had the super wealthy people and this hyper competitive handler and then we kind of had you know Cookie and Jerry as these underdogs and all these different groups who clearly love their dogs so much and just you know really want the best for them but all this pressure on their dogs who may or may not know what's happening or even even care like we saw that one dog attack the judges and like oh he's not usually like that and just the way the dogs obviously can behave very differently I'm curious to find out if the dogs that were featured in this had showing experience they were very well behaved I'm curious to find out more behind the scenes usually you know they say stay away from working with children and animals because they're so unpredictable and you could end up doing a scene you know many 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 times over because a dog wasn't behaving how you wanted to or it's barking or isn't just behaving how you needed to for that scene so yeah I'm very curious if production was ever slowed down or if they had show dogs that were very well trained and it seemed to especially at the end when everybody came out and I feel like all the dogs that were in the arena at some point must have had some kind of training and also dogs that are usually on movies and tv shows are very well trained because they have to be they have to know those commands they have to be able to do the things that you need them to I thought Fred Willard was hilarious as the judge I felt like some of the things he was saying I was like I think I've thought that before I felt like he was a relatable character he felt like you know someone who maybe doesn't know a ton about dog shows and is now somehow judging them or announcing them I guess and it just was so funny and I'm very curious to see 
what was true to the script, what they like improvised. I know Eugene Levy has an improv background. I feel like a lot of actors do as well. I believe Catherine O'Hara does as well. So I'm curious, especially with such a big group of comedians together, how much of it was improvised, how much of it stuck to the script. And it said written by Eugene Levy as well. So it's just so funny. And it was so great to see him and Catherine O'Hara together, both separately are hilarious, but I felt like together they just worked so well together. And I've seen them together in uh, Schitt's Creek, which is a Canadian show about a family that loses everything uh, and is living out of a town called Schitt's Creek. And I knew they'd worked together before that show and I didn't know what they had been in. So it was great to finally see this. And if you haven't checked out Schitt's Creek, it's hilarious. If you like Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara especially, check it out. And I love how we got to see, you know, the literal beginning, middle and end of this story. We see them, you know, getting ready for the show and all the preparation that has to go into it and, you know, traveling there and then the actual show. And then after we have the recap, you know, six months later or a year later of where everybody is now, nobody really seemed like they were going back to compete. They had all kind of moved on to other things. I don't know if there's an age limit for the dogs that you can bring to competitions or anything like that. And like I said, the shows that I have seen on TV have been more like agility and strength training and stuff like that for dogs. It hasn't really been focused on just appearance. Maybe they just didn't include that for the sake of the movie and they want to focus more on like the vanity metrics that come with dog shows. And I like that they included a variety of dog breeds as well. I love dogs. I was very excited to see the Siberian Husky at the end. That's one of my favorites. And it wasn't just all like we have the Shih Tzu obviously and the Poodle, which I feel like are very common. I don't know how common bloodhounds are in dog shows. Maybe they are and I just haven't seen it, but I like that they also covered, you know, a wide variety of dogs as well as their owners. And as you know, I find in real life, the owners match the dogs, like the personality of the dogs kind of translates into the personality of the owners. Just so funny, so many jokes, and I love the running joke of, you know, every time Cookie meets somebody, we find out she's slept with them, and she even has that joke at the beginning. She's like, oh, I've had a hundred boyfriends, and then, of course, they play into that by having, you know, every guy that she meets is like, oh, remember me, you know, like 18 years ago, and like, you never forget the best. It was just this running joke, obviously, throughout the entire movie. I loved that end recap scene where they were having a photo shoot for their dogs that was based on, like, old movies. If I had a dog that was definitely something I would do. I love dogs and costumes and sweaters and all that. So I would definitely do something ridiculous like that. And it was just such a fun way to see how their characters had kind of continued their love for their dogs, but in a different way. And obviously saw, you know, with Jerry and Cookie as well, having this mixtape come out of all their songs. Like, hey, somebody just said, why don't you put this out? So that's what they did. And I, an original soundtrack I'm always a big fan of. I'm very curious to see if those songs are actually released somewhere if they're on the actual movie soundtrack. This movie definitely made me want to go to a dog show. I don't think there are any near me in any capacity, but it would still be such a fun event, I think. And if you love dogs, this is definitely a movie for you. And I feel like if even if you watched it with your dog, it would be interesting to see their reaction. And even getting to see, you know, the different personalities of the dog. Like we had that working class group of dogs that I feel like enjoys having a job and enjoys having things to do. And then I think there's other groups of dogs that just have no idea what's happening. They're just happy to, you know, be there and to just do their thing and that's it. Like, it's definitely more focused on the people than the actual dogs at the end of the day. They're the ones who get the ribbon. They're the ones who, you know, get the prize money if there is anything. Harlan Pepper was hilarious. Him and his ventriloquist doll and, like, that's the route he's going now and he's like, you know what? I need some time. I just kind of got on this train and just traveled and kind of reset and now he's focusing more on this. Such a funny group of characters and everybody was hilarious and their stories and their reason for going to this dog show and you know the different motivations behind it and their different personalities it was just so funny such a funny movie comment below if there are sequels or remakes or anything like that I'd be very curious to find out if they would pick a different group of people as especially since this was like a mockumentary style or if they would pick up you know five years later with the same group but I really enjoyed it, it as so funny overall a great cast I would definitely watch this again just hilarious and I feel like if I was more familiar with dog shows, there might be some jokes that I missed, but I think they focused more on, you know, the people of the story as well, and you didn't have to have that intense expert knowledge to enjoy the movie. But thank you so much for sharing on this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. They're going to therapy for their dog. Oh my gosh, she's got two left shoes. Oh.
I love, I love the literal jokes. Yeah, I love all these like little behind the scenes features on all the people who will be competing. His original soundtrack as well. This guy's a terrible hostage negotiator. Winky's little hat also. Fully in the cage. Oh my god. Does he not know what a bee looks like?